Afternoon everyone, this is Rob at Next Truck Sales. I want to introduce you to our 2006 Western Star 4900 front axle or FA tractor. It features a Detroit Series 60 with EGR D-Deck 5 and an 18 speed manual transmission. Uh, the engine was recently, re recently rebuilt. Uh, the paperwork for the overhaul is in the photos section of the advertisements. So take a look there and you'll see the work that was done. Uh, the truck is going to be sold with cold air conditioning, uh, no major leaks, uh, fresh DOT, fresh service, ready to go to work. I'm going to take you through the truck. It's not perfect. It's old. It's a 15, 16 year old truck. So I want to point out some of the things that I've noticed that aren't perfect about it, but it is a good working truck with a freshly rebuilt engine. So it is ready to go ahead and do more work, but it's not new. So I'm going to point that out to you because you don't have the luxury of being here looking at it like I am. So let's have a look here. You'll see that we have two different headlights on here. Looks like we've got some custom high beams, LED high beams. We've got a little bit of a bend in the bezel at the front and another little bend here. Looks like we've added some sort of a uh, additional spacer on the bumper and that's probably what's happening is when the hood opens up it's it's banging on that bumper so let me open this up and look at that and see what's happening there let me unstrap it i didn't realize when i took the pictures that i'd actually strapped it back together uh, the paint is probably five out of ten condition it's okay but it's dull, uh, it could probably be polished. If you look there, you can kind of see it, it's okay. Uh, if you got some wax there, you can see where I put my hand on it. Definitely if you wax that, it would come up or polish it. Uh, for the time being, I'm gonna say it's pretty dull. No major body damage, but it's dull. Uh, these are 24.5 tires, Michelin's, probably 40% tread. We've got disc brakes on the front here. This is the engine that was rebuilt. You can see the turbo is newer. Okay, I'll take you through here. I'll get this running in a minute. I'll do the running portion without the audio so you can just hear it running because it's very hard to hear me talk usually when the engines are running. Uh, have a look here. We've got another matching Michelin steering tire, probably about 40%. We've got the larger... 85 steering box okay so we've got air compressor and this is your series 60 with egr your your giveaway is that hot pipe there but given the vintage being an 06 as well it's going to have an egr everything in since 04 has egr so we'll take a look there i do see a little bit of wetness around that oil pan gasket but i also do not see anything dripping on the ground so you'd see it blowing back onto the bell housing. Uh, as you know, anybody that's owned a Series 60, they have a tendency to leak just about everywhere. This one looks reasonably dry. There's no major leaks going on with it. It's not to say that there isn't small leaks, but there's nothing, you know, forming a drip. Uh, going through here, you're gonna see, we've got some corrosion on that door at the front, and we've got some corrosion on the door at the back. Uh, this tank has been replaced. I believe it just looks too new for the truck. So at some point, maybe the straps rotted out and the tank was replaced. Uh, overall here, we've got some ghosting of the previous decals that were on the truck. I'm sure that can be polished out. Uh, over here, we've got an interesting sort of a, a bracket. Don't know what goes on there. Spare tire, cargo. I'm not exactly sure what this section here is all about. not focusing there you go okay you've got this piece with wood okay inside of here Western Star is obviously well known for their super quiet cabs because they've got this extra thick wall right it's like a corrugated panel that's glued together and it's extra thick some corrosion going on the door panels you can see the paints really not super shiny anymore but again, this is a 15, 16 year old truck. You can see where somebody might have used some sort of a wheel to remove decals. Okay, over here, we've got a headache rack. That's in decent shape. Looks like we've had some stones fly up off of the tires. 
smoke the back of the cab here. We've got some dents and chips. I mean, it's in, the integrity is good, but cosmetically it doesn't look great. Uh, the frame overall here, I think structurally it's good. Cosmetically it's been painted and we've got some surface corrosion going on that appears to have been painted over. We didn't do that, it came to us this way. Uh, let's have a look at the tires. So we've got 24.5, sorry, 22.5 tires on the back. They're Continentals, they're Virgins. Those are probably 80%. There is a little bit of uh, scalloping going on. If you look in that section, you'll see what's happening. And a little bit of a scalloping going on here. So might need shocks, might need an equipment. Okay, we've got fifth wheel ramps. Uh, we've got disc brakes on the back. And remember, we had drum brakes on the front. We get disc brakes on the back. And this is a 46,000 pound rear, as you can tell by the size, with a full locker and a double frame. So if you look here, you're gonna see two, two frames. Um, again, we've got some shoulder wear going on with these tires. Good tread, but uneven wear. So generally a sign of either worn out shocks or an alignment or a tire inflation issue, something along those lines. And again, more matched Continentals aluminum wheels. And we've got a half fender and then a quarter fender. Uh, going over to this side here, you'll see we've got quite a bit of clear frame rail space. Uh, there is no battery box on this, so this, the, the uh, tank is pushed up to the front, which leaves loads of space here for something or absolutely nothing. In this case, it looks like we've got an engine heater and some sort of a possible bunk heater in here as well. Cool. It's a coolant heater, and maybe that's the exhaust for the, for the engine heater. Okay, let's have a look inside of here. So yeah, so there's your there's your bunk heater and then your exhaust for that is gonna be coming down from the top. So that's your exhaust for your bunk heater, that's your exhaust for your coolant heater. And this door's been painted, that's pretty obvious. Not sure why, I see a little bit of a gouge there. Whether they damaged it putting, taking decals off or something. Uh, this has clear coat on it, this does not. This looks like a one stage paint. And if you put stickers on top of it, it's not really gonna matter. It is noticeable. Okay, so there's the outside of this thing. Let's go inside and have a look. Okay, on the inside we've got red vinyl doors. We've got a legacy gold seat with some wear on the armrest. Okay, looks like it was maybe at one point a smoker truck. Doesn't smell bad now, but I do see a cigarette burn there. Okay, we've got the leather steering wheel with no more leather. And let's have a look. So there's our timer for the engine heater. We've got full locking differentials. So you'll see inner axle, track diff, track diff, those are the locks. And then you've got your fifth wheel slider and your suspension dump. And then you've got all of your other buttons. I do like the Western Star dashes. You take those two screws off and the whole thing folds forward on the hinge that's at the bottom. It gives you easy access to the, uh, to the components that are in behind. So let's fire this up. Okay, famous series 1690. So we've got a pyrometer. Voltage, oil pressure, coolant temp, suspension pressure, brake application, fuel level, and then we've got the trip meter. Now that's the one, my one thing I don't really like about the Western Star trucks. This thing is really complicated. I can never seem to figure out how to use it. Um, I've played with it over and over and can never seem to get the info I want out of it. So if we look here, we've got 979,000 miles. I know it's hard to see, the display is kind of worn, but 979,000 miles, and like I said, I've got paperwork for the overhaul. Uh, we've got vinyl plank flooring in here, which seems to have done a reasonable job. We got caulking at the edge of all of the uh, surfaces where it comes into contact with stuff that doesn't have the flooring. We've got a microwave. And we've got some shelving. These, these Western Star shelves are famous 
for um, for kind of falling apart and they only last the first couple of years. So most of them have jur been jury rigged with some sort of bolt system like that. It's kind of like Ikea cupboards and then they just kind of wear out with use. Uh, we've got a refrigerator here, which looks newer. Over here, we've got another timer and that first timer may have been for the coolant heater. This one looks to be for the bunk heater. And then we've got fridge power, sleeper lights. Let's turn them on and see what we got going. There we go. And we've got some sleeper access. See if I can get that open. No, I'm not gonna bother because I've only got one hand. And you can see here that we've got the, uh, this is the larger bunk. So this will be the, uh, the 82 inch sleeper. Let's have a look here. We've got a big power inverter, 3000 watts. Your bunk heater is there. And whoever did the flooring did it all the way to the back, which is nice. So this is the, uh, uh, let me shut off these lights so we don't come back to dead batteries. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna run the engine. I'm not gonna do a lot of talking. I'm just gonna let you listen. Um, and I will show you a video. And then after I come back away from the truck, I'll talk about whatever it is that I see. Uh, this sticker was covered with a um, some sort of a piece of Velcro, so we had to pull it off in order to be able to read it. But it's a 515, and the ratio in the back is 373. So let me fire this thing up. We'll go out, have a listen. I'll take the valve or the oil filler cap off, which will give you a pretty decent idea of how much blow-by is going on, which is a good indication of how much life expectancy is going uh, is left in the engine. And we should expect to see next to none because it's been recently rebuilt. So let's go out and have a look. Okay, so we see the fan is not spinning, which is good. It means it's spinning freely. Should have a fan override on here. So when we do that, yeah, so that feature is working, which is good. And let's go out and have a listen. I'm going to rev it up and let you have a listen to the exhaust. Oh, one other feature. The gear shifter has the cruise control on the shifter. Uh, don't see too many of them anymore, but that, you do run your cruise control from those switches on the shifter. So what you'll notice, I saw a little wisp of black smoke. I didn't see anything white or blue, which is a good sign. Black is kind of normal for a truck that doesn't have a DPF. Blue is generally burning oil and white is coolant. So looks like we've got a healthy engine. It starts good. It sounds healthy. It doesn't sputter on acceleration, which generally indicates injectors. The idle sounds smooth. And to me, I would say, if you look at this truck overall, yes, it's, you know, what are we, 2022 and 
This truck would have been built in 2005, so it's a 17 year old truck. Um, it's got some bumps and bruises, but it's got lots of life left in it. Most importantly, because the powertrain was recently rebuilt. It runs good, it's not leaking oil or burning oil, as you can tell. And so you can run a lot of loads with this. It isn't the prettiest truck anymore, and I don't know with this configuration if it ever was the prettiest truck, but it's got life in it. And being that it's in a pre-emission truck with the exception of the EGR, you know, you're not worried about DPF sensors and DEF and all those other things that tend to wear out on trucks as they get to the 10 year age. This truck doesn't have any of those sensors or things to break down. So the likelihood of it, of those types of problems is zero. And the likelihood of a breakdown is obviously quite good because you just don't have those issues and those components on that truck to break down. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to hear from you if you're interested in it. I'm just closing up the hood here. And uh, if you are watching this video from the US, we do offer shipping to the US. You take delivery of it in Buffalo. We'll supply you with all of the paperwork that you require to import the truck from Canada. Uh, we guarantee that you'll get all your paperwork done. We do it on a regular basis. So we're familiar with the process and we we do use brokers to make sure that it gets done correctly. Uh, if you are interested in this truck and you want to make a deal on it, feel free to give me a call at my cell phone, 289-259-6054. And I hope to hear from you soon. It's Rob at Next Truck Sales. Bye for now.